In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a baby doll dress. For this project, we're going to need measuring tape, pins, elastic, thread, scissors, fabric, I use something non-stretch and cotton, straps, which we can also make out of the fabric that we have, and then any embellishments that you want. We're going to start by creating the pattern for the bust, which we're going to drape out on ourselves. It's important that we're draping our fabric on the bias so it gives us a little stretch around the bust. We want to keep in mind where our center is and that we're pinning the fabric and including seam allowance. So around every pin that we place, we want to make sure there's at least one centimeter of fabric outside of that pin. We also want to mark out the shape for the side seam. It's really up to you how this part of the dress is going to fit and it really just depends on where you place your pins. This technique of pinning the fabric onto your shirt I find very effective when you don't have a mannequin. Then you want to unpin it from your shirt while keeping the pins on the fabric. Now we're going to cut that piece out leaving a 1cm seam allowance. As you can see cutting the fabric on the bias gives it that extra stretch. Then we're going to cut out the exact same piece for the other side. And if your fabric has a right side and wrong side we want to make sure that we're cutting out the mirror image. And now we have two identical pieces for the bust. Now we're going to finish two of the edges on the bust piece by folding our fabric over 0.5 centimeters, ironing that down, and then folding it over again. It's really important to use your iron during this step because we are creating a very small hem. At the point, the fabric was a little bulky so I trimmed some of that away. And when we're done ironing, we can place some pins. And then we're going to do the exact same for our other piece. Now both pieces are ready to attach our embellishments. So I'm going to attach a trim, ribbon insertion lace, and some ribbon. I'm just tucking that trim over the edge of the fabric. I'm sort of just playing with how I want everything to lie. It's up to you what sort of details you want to add. As for the ribbon insertion lace, it's important to insert your ribbon before you sew it down. So with the ribbon now inserted, I could fold the lace over the edge of the fabric and pin it down. And then with thread the same color as the lace, we're going to sew everything down. For the ribbon insertion lace, I like to do two separate stitches along the edges, and I just sew everything with a straight stitch. Then when we're all done, we can cut away the excess lace and trim. I like to cut it after just to make sure that I have enough. And then we're going to do the exact same for the other side. Now we're moving on to the skirt part of the dress. We need to take a couple measurements, first measuring out the large hips, then we're going to measure out the length starting from under the bust and including one centimeter of seam allowance on the top and two centimeters of seam allowance for the hem. Now we're going to place the hip measurement into the equation and from the corner of the fabric we're going to use that measurement and place pins all around. And then from those pins we're going to measure out our length measurement. And then we're going to cut along the two lines that we just pinned out. Then we're going to sew the seam of our skirt. I like to do a front seam but you can just do a regular seam if you like as well. For the front seam, you're going to sew wrong sides together, trim away the excess fabric, iron that seam, fold it over and iron it down again, and then do your second stitch now on the wrong side of the fabric. And then we're going to hem the skirt by folding the fabric over one centimeter, ironing that down, and then folding it over another centimeter. And you can put pins to keep it all in place and then you're going to sew along where you pinned with a straight stitch. Okay, so I've just placed all the pieces that we've created on our mannequin and now we're going to make a back piece for the dress. This piece is just going to be a rectangle that we attach some elastic to. So we want to pin our fabric at the two side seams and decide how much extra give we want for this piece and we're going to do that by lining it up with the skirt piece. So I'm just loosely cutting the fabric right now, and now we have a rough idea of the rectangle. And now we're just going to make sure that that lines up with our skirt piece. Before adding elastic to the back rectangle piece, we're going to add a basting stitch to the bottom of our bust piece. And a basting stitch is just the largest stitch length that your machine can do, and make sure that you're not doing a reverse stitch on either end of that stitch. This just makes it so you can pull the thread and create a gather and this will create some sort of depth to the cups. Keeping in mind that we want this piece to line up and attach to our bust piece, we're gonna now attach the elastic. 
The length of the elastic just depends on how snug you want your dress, so you can measure that out by just holding it across your back. And we're going to cut three of these pieces out. And then I'm just trimming the edges to make it a more proper rectangle, keeping in mind one centimeter seam allowance. I'm leaving the length as is for now. For the top piece of elastic, we're going to fold the fabric over twice and tuck the elastic in, and then pin it down. It might be a little easier to iron the piece down before inserting your elastic. So just folding it over, ironing it down, and then folding it over again, and making sure that the elastic is tucked in between the layers. And then you're gonna sew it with a zigzag stitch, pulling the elastic as you sew. This is what your piece should look like, and this is what it'll look like if the elastic isn't tucked in between the layers. Then for the other two pieces of elastic, we're going to disperse them wherever you like and we're going to sew those with a zigzag stitch, pulling the elastic as you sew. Now taking the piece we just created, we're going to attach it right sides together to our two bust pieces. As you can see, the back piece is a little longer, so I'm just going to trim away that excess. The reason I don't do this before is because I like to leave a little extra because I'm not sure how much the elastic is going to take up. And then I'm going to sew along the two seams that I just pinned. I'm going to trim away the extra fabric on both of those seams and then go over it again with a zigzag stitch to lock in those threads. Now we're ready to attach this piece to our skirt piece. The seam is going to be the back and I like to mark out with a pin the front of the dress. Now before we pin down the cups, we're going to pull our basting thread by how much gather we want and then we're going to pin it down. We're going to pin down the two cups and we're not going to pin down the back piece because of the elastic so we're just going to pull that as we sew. And then with a straight stitch we're going to sew along where we pinned. The next couple steps are just going to be adding details, which again is totally up to you what you want to add. I'm going to add more ribbon insertion lace and I don't have enough for it to go all the way around the entire dress so I'm going to stop at the side seams. But again, if you have more or want to add more, you can do that as well. So making sure to insert the ribbon first, I'm then going to place it down with pins and sew along where I pinned. For the bow and the two straps, I'm going to use a hand sewing needle for those but you could also do it with a machine if you like. Before you attach the straps, it's important to try the dress on to make sure that the placement and the length fits comfortably. I decided to pull the ribbon in the front a little bit more, so I just unstitched it, pulled it, and then I replaced it down with a pin. This was just to create a little bit more gathering in the front. And now I can sew that back down. As well as sewing the straps and the bow. I decided to sew it by hand because I find that you can hide the stitch a little better when you're hand stitching. And then I tied the end of my straps just to keep a little extra in case I ever want to change the length. The final optional step is to add a trim detail along the hem of your dress. I'm just going to place one pin on the back seam and then move the trim into place as I sew. And you're all done. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video, please subscribe.